Oh my god, why is this so flaky? Hey guys, it's Chris. Right here is the 3.1 ROM, which we are going to remove with a nice flathead screwdriver only on the end. I have had this in and out so many times I can pull it out in one shot. I would like to get the new style socket for that. And on the diagram here, this is just a FR216 EEPROM. ggglabs.us I've seen these knockoff chips it does have a tiny little tick for uh, the front slot so we're going to insert that let me zoom in on the tel uh, television you know, the monitor so we can see what it does and what it says here we go turning on okay I have never used this before, so I have no idea what it's supposed to do. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Maybe I should pull my cards out. I wanted to test some RAM. Okay, memory board. IDE board. So now the only thing in there is the GoTech and floppy drive. This thing's doing some weird crap. Not only that, watch the power light. Where is it? Watch this. It's simultaneously, watch the power light. It goes bright, then flicker, 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 flicker. Okay, so that, I'm watching a YouTube video on it too. And this guy, it shows his and there's a checksum test and some stuff, but mine does nothing. Holding down the left mouse button, and look at that, you get this stuff. I get literally nothing. Nothing on the screen. This guy's getting stuff. Um, apparently the green boot is normal. Yay. Let me hook it up RGB and see what's up with that. Same display. Nothing. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It is RGB. Hold on. My V hold is like shot. Oh my god, why is this so flaky? Okay. 68010, 1024 chip, zero fast. Readable registers, FPU none, expansion RAM no. I wish I could get it to stay. Why is it in some crazy mode? Okay, so we're going composite. Composite video. It's doing the same thing. That's great. I can't see a damn thing on the camera. No, it's it's crazy. How in the hell are you supposed to read this? You know? So I got it to work over a serial port using sync term, direct connect off Windows Com 2, which is my USB. Uh, it's a serial port adapter. I don't know what this is. It's saying I have no no memory. Complete memory detection. You have 8 megs of RAM. Okay. 24 bit address space. Alright, it says detected RAM 8 megs right here. Z2 managed area. Good block start. So, okay, I was looking like here. It's testing these little sections of the chips I guess I don't know I'm just letting it roll
There we go. All right. Number of errors, zero. All this RAM is good. Press any key to continue. No stuck keys. Chip 1024. Fast 8 megs. 9600 baud. 68,000. Oops. Let me do that again. You can't hit them too fast. Two seconds each. One. Okay, so. One, two. And then wait a second. There we go. And uh, CIAA says too fast. Failed. So CIAA. I'm going to do nothing. NTSC will give false. NTSC will give false. I don't understand. Why is it pause? This will fail unless you press a custom button. Okay, so my IRQs are good. Ableton program. Oh crap, I forgot to press a key on the Amiga. Hold on. Wrong mouse. I was clicking the PC mouse like a tard. So, in comparison, here was the original signal. All right? 117, 118. Timing, 2,128 milliseconds. Tick signal too fast failed. CIA tick V-Sync. It does say NTSC will give false something. CIA B 31254. I swapped the CIA chips because it is flaky as hell. So that's my video on Amiga Diagram version 1.1 on an FR216 flashable EEPROM. I hope this was enlightening to someone. It wasn't that exciting, but at least I know everything's cool. Maybe I'll piece this into a, another video. Back to my testing. Take care. Thanks for watching.